pretty sure gaggle is the appropriate term for the collective of children that just went by. While we made it to Boston, I'm gonna try to do some street photography. I'm a little uh, razzled. We've driven around for like an hour trying to find a parking spot. Trying to find a parking spot in downtown Boston. Not easy. What? Yeah, if you're coming here, take the train or the subway or something. Go park at the mall, it's free to park there. That's what I should have done. Take the subway into the town. That would have been a much better idea. Anyway, so we're gonna walk the Freedom Trail, which is what we're on right now. And I'm gonna try to do some street photography, probably with the phone and the cameras. Um, but I'm also gonna be doing some B-roll, so it's gonna be another B-roll intensive thing, because uh, vlogging out here is intense. <laughs> But I want to take you guys around Boston with me because there's a lot of cool stuff we want to see today. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's go check it out. Made it to the Constitution, the USS Constitution. Super awesome old ship. I've been here before when I was a little kid, but not since then. It's a lot different than the ship I was on in the Navy. It's super cool. I can't imagine crossing ocean in this thing. Probably not gonna take too many pictures, but I am gonna get B-roll, so. Well, we made it off the Constitution. That was super cool. We were there for like the last 10 minutes though, so not as many people. That's a good tip. Another good travel tip, Charleston, on the other side of the river where the Constitution and Bunker Hill is, much quieter and much easier to deal with driving and parking. Parking over here and then walking across the river and then to the Boston common area and all that stuff, much better idea. In hindsight, that's what I should have done. So we're gonna go check out the Bunker Hill Monument right there, and then I think we're gonna go try to get some dinner at Cheers because it's one of my favorite shows and that's what you gotta do when you're in Boston. So we're still in Charleston. Another photo tip real quick, if you guys like to do portraits or really cool street photography, this street is super quiet and out of the way and it's just right down the street from Bunker Hill. I mean, it's like across, it's the street across from Bunker Hill. And it's still on the Freedom Trail-ish. I think it's parallel to the Freedom Trail. But this area is incredible. And I just took a couple of these phone portraits, like super fun. I'm really impressed at the Note 10 Plus uh, just how it did but just the background blur and all that stuff in these streets if you like doing portraits this is a cool place to do it all right well we just had dinner at cheers which was like my personal favorite thing of this entire trip absolutely zero for well i did take photos in there but it's family stuff you know so we are here at the Boston Common and I actually took a couple of shots here, nice long exposures. Uh, I don't know if any of them came out, but I did get an incredible sunset shot that was just completely uh, happenstance, just random. I uh, wasn't even planning on stopping, but I found that the bridge and the Paul Revere Park and got an amazing sunset. So hopefully I didn't screw the panel up. If I did screw the panel up, then I got this shot that I was very happy with. So. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the photos that I took on this, but the rest is B-roll. So I hope you enjoyed uh, Boston, at least from my perspective, just walking around. I think we walked probably like eight or nine miles today total. Like we still have another half mile to walk to get to the car. But also hopefully some of those tips helped you out. I definitely think this is an amazing place and I would love to spend more time here, especially at night photographing the city. 
Um, but that's that's what I got this time. So I kind of feel like maybe I let you guys down a little bit in terms of the you know the photography stuff. But um, I, I have to be honest with you, this was definitely more of a trip for my family and for hanging out with my son and doing all this cool stuff. I really feel like there's a bug. I feel like there's a spider like hanging on my arm. <laughs> but I did try to get as much b-roll as possible just because for me it was a little easier to film than it was to actually take uh, take the time to do some really good photos I think that's kind of weird but uh, just it's easier I guess and um, but I had to change it up a little bit because like I think an hour into us being here my my one DX2 died and then the X spare battery I forgot to charge last night so that was fun uh, so I ended up rolling with the 5D4 and I stole Brittany's camera and uh, just took a bunch of cell phone pictures. But it was super fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy the B-roll. I'm not sure where the next episode is going to be. We're not done with our trip yet. We still have a couple more days in Boston. But I think they're going to be work days and I think we're going to go maybe up to Maine or just northern Massachusetts. Do a little uh, like Ipswich and Salem again and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure yet because uh, we're kind of just going as we see. We came down here hoping that there would be uh, some colors by now, some fall colors, because this is a beautiful area, and Boston Common would be, it is a beautiful area for the fall, but there's no colors yet, and it's, uh, what, end of the first week of October right now? So yeah, it's like October 7th or 8th or something, still no colors, so it's gonna be a few weeks, so we're gonna miss that, so we might drive a little more north and find some more colors. So thanks for watching, thanks for staying with me, enjoying the B-roll. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every week. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.